In this video, I'll show you what's new on the Olo Audio S4X headphones, the follow-up to their S4 and S4R models. Hi, I'm Marlon and this is The White Noise Studio. We'll do an unpacking and do a comparison between the S4X and the S4 and S4R models. Please remember to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any new videos. Here's what's inside the box. It starts off with a little warning how to handle the headphones. Let's remove some of the environment-friendly packaging and here we have this little black box. This one contains the 2 meter TRS headphone cable. And there's also this nice pouch in the back where you can put in the headphones. And these are the S4X headphones. Looks luxurious with the wood ear cups of American Walnut. The packaging also has a certificate of authenticity with the date and signature of the one who checked the headphone. And here we have the custom measurement of the headphone response, more on this later. And finally the manual. Most of the differences of the S4X in comparison to the S4R and the S4 are improvements requested by customers. The S4X has an even flatter response, a redesigned headbands and larger ear cups. So here's the direct comparison of the S4X with the S4 and S4R on the design. The cups on the S4R used to be like this and Olo Audio redesigned them. First thing you see is that they beefed up the thickness of the padding. You can see it even better like this. This is the new cup and this is the old one. They also increased the size of the inside of the cups. I didn't mind the ear cups like they were, but I can imagine people like to have the cups to be truly over ear instead of being more on your ears, so the S4X have new 90mm ear pads which fit better around your ears. The screws which hold the headbands have been changed too, looks a bit nicer this way in my opinion. And Olo Audio redesigned the headband. The previous one suffered somewhat from ringing when you tapped it and with the new design they have eliminated that a lot. I never had an issue with the ringing, but it's nice they addressed it. Furthermore, it has the same nautical ladder as the S4. The changes in comparison with an S4R, besides the one already mentioned with the S4R, the different ladder of the headbands and the red mesh of the S4 versus the black of the S4X. All three headphones are 32 ohms. That means you can use them on smart devices like your phone or a tablet and still have good volume. Before I did a listening test on the S4X, I wondered about the practice of burning in your headphones. That is letting audio play for a while and let the membranes set to improve the performance. Some say it's a fable and some say it's a must. I have a new pair of vocal monitors and they insist on burning in their speakers. So I got in touch with Ragulic, the man behind Olo Audio, to hear what he has to say about the burning in process. Marlon, when it comes to burning in process, there's a lot of mystery behind it. Um, does it actually affect the sound or does it not? And, and many times, uh, you know, people will not hear the difference, will not hear anything happening. But sometimes you can measure that and then you actually know that, uh, you know, a burning process uh, did something good. Normally the results will be seen in total harmonics a lot more than in, in a primary or dominant uh, frequency response curve. Rock, many thanks, you rock. I did burn in my headphones just to be sure they were optimal before I reviewed them. What I noticed is the following. On the S4X, the stereo image has improved a bit. It's even easier to pinpoint elements in the stereo field. The transient response of the S4X is a tad better too, although that can be due to its flatter frequency response. The S4 and the S4R smear the sound a bit more and sound a bit warmer, which can be explained if you check the frequency graphs of these two headphones. Let's go over the frequency response measurements which come with the S4X headphone. Here's which standard they used for measurements, the air pressure, the humidity, the temperature and the date and the signature of who tested the headphone. Nice geeky stuff. There's a cool thing mentioned in the manual what you can do with this frequency plot. You can request for the measurements by the mail form and they send you the Excel file of the measurements which you then can use to invert EQ your headphones for an even flatter response. I've linked to their blog in the description below so you can check out how to do it. The S4X is an improvement over the S4 and S4R. Allo Audio now calls these reference headphones and I agree. 
Sound-wise, it's not a mile apart from the S4 and S4R. But enough for me to use the S4 Access exclusively for mixing and mastering. I will convert my S4s into S4Rs by replacing these plates and use them for recording in my studio and make my clients even happier. Bear in mind, like I said in the S4 and S4R review I did, check it here and in the description below, that I happily use the S4 in mixing and mastering and I can still recommend that. The S4X though is even more flat and more detailed. I start a mix and mastering with full confidence and I get even better results. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.